Hello, D. Martez here, entertainment correspondent and your host of NVT's web series, Venture In. First, I want to say thank you to everyone that came out to see The Wiz. Thank you, Baton Rouge. It was a success. Now we venture in with a new cast. That's right, the new play, Brokeology. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as you meet the cast and see what it takes to put on a NVT play. Here it is, Brokeology. Hello, my name is Bianca Siplin, and I am playing the role of Sonya in NBT's production of Brokeology. Hey, I'm Jesse Wallace Jr., and I'm playing a part of In This. Hi, I'm Clarence Crockett, and I'll be playing William. Hey, I'm Byron Wade. I'll be playing Malcolm. Hi, my name is Angela Smith Perry, and I am the costumer for NBT's production of Brokeology. I am from Plaquemine, Louisiana, but I used to tell people Baton Rouge by way of Fort Worth, Texas. I'm from in and outside New Orleans. I'm from Baton Rouge. I was born and raised right here in the city. Right, for my audition, when I, when I went in for the audition, I really wanted to play the role of Malcolm because I thought it was something a little bit different than playing an angry guy. I thought it would be kind of a challenge as well. However, uh, when I went in for the audition, uh, the monologue that I presented to him was kind of high strong, had a lot of uh, different emotions. Say, so, hey, bro, I need to talk to you. Don't sit down. Now I'm not quite sure what the hell possessed you to say that to our mother. You picked today to make today about you when it's not even about you. It's about her. She sat us down to tell us something so important. What did you do? <laughs> I don't know. You had to make it all about you. Uh, Malcolm King is the younger brother um, in a family of two brothers um, with a father who is dealing with a serious illness. Um, William is, I believe he's, I would say he's like 68. You know. In the beginning of the show, you see him when he's in his late 30s. So, to flash forward 26 years later, and he has MS. This character is different than any other character that I've ever played because I'm really focused on the physicality. Like, it's really not just, oh, using your voice or making a sad face or, you know, the, the old face. This is more like you have to be aware of your body, you have to walk slow, uh, you have to make sure that you're also representing the disease well for those who actually live with MS. So this one is, is challenging and it kind of hits home because my great uncle died from from the disease as well. So it's, it's really hitting home. My character Sonia brings about this, this special kind of unconditional love on stage. All of my interaction is, is basically with my husband and it, it changes things a bit because you see how he interacts with her and how he interacts with his sons and, and the relationship that they have is still present throughout the story. So her character is is one that is of love, of passion, of just affection. I'm playing the part of Endless. He's like a he, he's home, he's a homebody, so he stayed home. He didn't, he didn't leave. He's a, he's real sarcastic. Real funny guy. He can be mean and look the well. You know, he's got a sweetheart. He's just misunderstood. The table read is when you just sit, when all the actors and directors sit at the table and we all read the script. We don't do any direction. We just read the lines. And for the first time, I think we did real good. Brokeology. Now, it's the complex new science that examines two things one, being broke, two, staying alive despite your own brokenness. Sounds very complex. It is. And most importantly, it's very useful. The chemistry between the cast, uh, specifically me, Clarence, and Jesse, um, is coming along in this building. Um, being that we have a short, shorter amount of time to um, prepare for this production, um, everybody's experienced 
New Venture Theater is still accepting donations for its capital campaign. Visit newventuretheater.com for more details. Now, I was doing the sizes of many of the actors that are participating in this production, and I came upon Brother Jesse. When I asked Brother Jesse what size shoe he wore, Brother Jesse told me a 12. Now, honey, you all know, ladies, we love size 12 in shoes. Okay, shoe size. All right, now. Yeah, you know, uh, Angela, she real cool. She real funny. She, you know, she was taking my size and she was messing with me because I told her I wore a size 12 shoe. And she was like, oh. So I'd be like, ah. Yeah, you know. But now I'm just playing. But, um, you know, you try to have something funny or everything is lighthearted. For whatever reason, when he said a 12, I got tickled. And then he got tickled. Which I don't know how much tickling that was. And I don't know how good it was. But I'll tell you this. Brother Jesse, I have seen a many size 12s in my day, honey. And all I'm going to say is God bless and good luck. Being the only female in this play for me is very erotic. <laughs> um... I love working with different guys. Um, it's a different type of energy. Um, as the only female, uh, I feel, I guess, very privileged. <laughs> Bianca Hazel Lady Eyes, this is for you. I am an older person who tends to be very observant. And I have observed quite a few things as I sit and watch. Like Bianca is the only female who is in this production. And she tends to have taken a liking to one of the male actors. She likes to talk to him and rub him all at the same time. And the thing is, he tends to look like he's liking it a lot. Now, I ain't one to gossip, honey. I am not the one to talk about people, and I am not the one to judge. But I will say, I have been observant, and I have noticed that they tend to like to talk a whole lot. So we don't know what's going to happen after Brokeology. After Brokeology, I might be costuming and doing something for a wedding. Who knows, honey? My preferences for the fall are a little odd. Uh, I kind of tend to like, you know, burnt oranges and lime greens. That kind of goes well together. But we'll see what happens. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of NVT's web series, Venture In. I'm Demartez, your entertainment correspondent. Remember, you can visit demartez.com for the latest in entertainment news and more. The next episode of Venture In will air on August the 15th. That's right, one day before Brokeology hits the stage. So mark your calendars now for August 16th and 17th. Brokeology at the Breck Independence Park Theater. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Demartez. See you next time on NVT's Venture In. Say, hey, hey, this a little freestyle for you. Ah, so come out to the show on August 16th and 17th. Yeah, we gonna kick it up live with Broke Allergy. Uh, uh, so don't worry about money because we broke. Because we broke. Get jiggy with it. Get jiggy with it. I'm sorry, it's cut. <laughs>